What is enzyme inhibition? The word inhibit means to prevent or stop. So when we talk about enzyme inhibition, we're stopping the enzyme from reacting with its substrate. Basically, that means that inhibitors are going to stop the enzyme from working or at least decrease its activity. Why this is important is because we don't want all enzymes working at all times throughout the day. The word I like to use is being efficient. We only want certain enzymes to be active at certain points because we only want certain cellular responses to occur at certain times. Not every enzyme needs to be working 24 seven. So there are two main types of enzyme inhibition. The first type is called competitive inhibition. And like the word says, the inhibitor is going to compete with the active site of the enzyme. You can see what that normal reaction looks like here. The inhibitor will have a shape somewhat like the substrate and it will bind to that active site. And as you can see, the enzyme isn't gonna be able to bind with its substrate, which stops the reaction. It's important to remember that the enzyme is not destroyed in this reaction, it's just being stopped. So again, basically in competitive inhibition, the inhibitor is competing with the active site of the substrate. Non-competitive inhibition is just the opposite. This is where the inhibitor is going to bind at a site called the allosteric site, and the allosteric site is away from the active site. So this inhibitor is not competing for the active site of the enzyme. However, it is going to still bind with the enzyme. Whenever this inhibitor is going to bind to the allosteric site, it's gonna change the active site structure, which will make it not bind with the substrate. If the substrate can't bind with the active site, the reaction is going to stop. So again, in non-competitive inhibition, the inhibitor binds to the allosteric site, not the active site, but changes the structure of the active site so it won't fit the substrate and stop the reaction of the enzyme.